Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 9 for our hotel management system in Laravel. And in this video, we are going to perform the admin login logout. Okay, so till now we have created our 3 crud room type and room and the customers. Now we want to create the uh, booking system. So in the booking system, we need to add that who is created the booking. So if we are creating the booking from the admin, then we need to save the admin ID so that I'm going to create the admin login logout and uh, and uh, we need this uh, admin login logout because without the admin login we can't access this uh, admin panel okay so let's start to do this okay so for creating the admin login and logout functionality we are going to create the admin controller model and routes okay so let's uh, start with the uh, I will go to the project first of all uh, we have a Laravel apps and we will go to the project via command line okay and here I will also start the XAM server yeah it's been started already okay so what I will do here I am in the command line now I will run what I will do I will run just a minute I will increase font okay so I will run php artisan make controller what the controller name is admin controller it's your choice if you want to add the controller keyword in your admin control uh, in your controller name okay and this is not a resource controller so I will not add any flag so just simply click on this okay so it is saying that php artisan is not working because we are not in the project let's go in the project and run this command okay so controller has been control controller created successfully now open the controller so i'll go to the hotel manage i'll go to the app http controllers and admin controller okay and before doing anything here we need to uh, we can do that we can load templates and all the things but uh, i will first prefer to create the model so php artisan make make model admin okay and i will add the migration also okay so we have created this now let's go to the project and let's go to the database and here we have a migration click on the create admin tables and here we don't need this timestamps okay so what i will do here i will remove this timestamps okay and i just simply add dollar table i'll say string and this will be the username okay and the second string that will be the password okay so this is password okay now let's migrate this so i will php artisan make not make migrate okay so migration has successful okay so now what we will do here now let's load the login form so i will say login and then after we will implement the logout okay and now you have a if you have any idea that how login and logout is working then it will be good for you but if you not then don't worry i will explain everything okay so login means user will submit the form and we will save the data in the session first we will match the data in the database that uh, submitted data is matched with the database if matched then we will add the data in the session and session will remain open until the user logged out okay so this is the process of login and logout functionality and i know that you you pretty aware of uh, this because if you are doing laravel then you are aware of this okay so let's uh, function login okay and uh, here we have a login functionality and here we are just simply load the template so return view and i'll say login okay simple login and i'll create the login page so let's uh, create this in a resource views and here i will say login dot blade dot php okay so now what i will do here i will go to the uh let me go to the admin themes 
okay admin themes i will go to the admin themes here okay and uh, from the admin themes we will open the let's open the so here we have and now i'll go to the pages and we have a login page so this kind of login page we are going to work okay okay so this is our login form and in this login form what we are going to change we will remove this button we will remove this uh, create an account link and uh, we will implement the login functionality in this video and in our upcoming video we will implement the remember password and forgot functionality okay so let's uh, implement let's implement this page in our laravel project so i will go to the we need to copy that template okay so where is this uh, this is admin themes two and uh, pages so we have a uh, login so this is login template okay and in this login template we just need the container so this is the body this is the container i will copy all actually we need all this template because we are not extending any template in the login because we need this template fresh okay so <clears throat> okay so here we need to pass the path so i will just copy any of the template path so here we will pass the path and this will be here okay and uh, this is here. okay so admin controller and this is now we need to define the routes so i will go to the routes web.php and here we have admin dashboard before the dashboard this will be admin login okay slash admin login and this will be our controller so what i will do i will get here controller this will be admin controller and here the admin controller will be where it is here okay and we just need to copy this and i'll copy here and change this admin controller and name it login okay fine okay now let's go to the template here not template project and let's go to the login so we have this page now okay so this is the admin page okay now let's remove this uh, login and uh, all the all the extra stuff we will implement we will implement this uh, login with the social share with the maybe in the with the front end implement this in a front end uh, face but not here in the admin login okay so i will remove this create account because admin will not going to create account and here we will remove this uh, both link and here we have hr this is also okay and we just need to make this button not anchor link so here what i will do i will just put input type sum okay and uh, uh, this will be value so value is now okay so and one thing more this will be this will be username not email address username because we are going to use username not email address username and uh, yeah fine perfect okay so let's uh, let's implement this functionality we have created the page now implement this functionality though so we will change this form what we need to change first of all we will change the method post okay and here we will define the csrf token just csrf okay and uh, we are done we need to define action also url and we need to create this so we will create this after this completing this form so this will be admin login but with post method okay so 
I will copy this and here I will define the post method route will same but the class will change so we will save check login okay so we have this post method and we have this form now we need to submit the data and run the functionality so here we will check login okay so let's add some uh, demo data in the database for login the admin okay <clears throat> so we are going to add some data so here we have a uh, hotel manage and uh, we have admins and this will be insert and let's insert admin slash admin but this will be encrypted and i will apply the sharp one encryption okay so here we have applied so this encrypt the values okay so now when we click on this submit this will go to the uh, admin login action with the post met method it means it will go to the check login so we need to create this check login so let's create this check login okay and this will send a request so i will call the request instance okay and uh, we will Im implement the validation also so i will get i will copy any of the crud okay i will copy this crud and put here and this will be username required and the password is also required and other things we will remove okay and uh, in the we will confirm that it has name equal to username okay and the password equal to password okay and we will also show the message of the error so we will copy the create dot played and we will copy this everything uh, Actually, we don't need this session because when user logged in successfully, we will redirect him to admin. So I will copy this on. Okay. So from the form, welcome back. So where it is a welcome back? Okay. So let's uh, add this after after this form. Let's add this after this form. Okay. You can add it uh, wherever you want. Okay. So we have this uh, controller and uh, yeah we need the we need model also models admin okay and here we will match so this will be admin equal to admin where and we will pass username and the username will be request username and password is SHA1 this is a PHP function and request password okay and then we will count the data okay so if dollar admin greater than zero it means data exists so what I will do I will just simply get this admin data with the help of get method okay and add this data in the session okay so what i will do here add this data in the session so let's say admin data and we will add this admin data okay and uh, we will redirect it return redirect okay and we will say admin simple admin okay else else we will return on login form with with message with message and message is invalid username or password okay and now we need this uh, session but the name is changed so what I will do here, this will be message. Okay, so now we have a checking that count is greater than zero and we are getting the data and uh, data, we are saving the data in the session, returning to the admin and uh, if not, uh, if not, 
match the data then we are returning to the ad, same admin login okay now let's check this so i will refresh the page i will say admin and just simply so this is saying that this should be email so what we need to do this type should be text e name i will say simply login so this will show the username field is required password field is required i will say admin and i will say some wrong password so login so password field is required saying it means uh, this name should be actually we are doing the wrong thing actually this should be the name should be here and this name should be password so where i have put the password name name password where i have put that okay no issues okay let's uh, retry this again okay so admin and wrong password so it is saying that invalid username and password but in a green text but uh, we don't need this green text it needs in a danger text i mean red text so this will be let's check this okay so now let's try with the genuine username and password that we have submitted in our database so login so yeah so it has been redirected okay so now we need to create the logout link and if somebody wants to open this uh, admin section then we need to redirect to the login if he is not logged in okay so we need to work in the layout section okay so what i will do here what i will do i will simply after the title i will simply check if if session has if session has because we have added the data in the session so if session has admin data okay because we are extending the layout everywhere so that i am working in the layout so if session has admin layout then we will show this if not if not session as this then what i will do i will add a script okay i will add a script and in this script window dot location dot href i will simply say i will simply say url and this will redirect to so i will say admin and login okay so if this admin data is not uh, set then this will redirect to the login so let's refresh the page so is it, it is not redirect to the login because we have already set the data now let's uh, create the logout uh, functionality okay so before creating the logout functionality we need to create the logout link in the sidebar so i will copy this uh, dashboard thing and i will just copy after the customer crud okay and may name it logout and some icon should be there for the logout i don't know the exact name but uh, that should be logout but uh, maybe some different uh, let's check the icons we can check that font awesome five okay so icons so while it is opening let's define the functionality so i will simply say admin logout okay uh, actually this will be URL and I will simply say admin logout okay and in the admin controller we need to create this so function logout and in the logout guess what we are going to what we are going to do we just need to remove this session so how we will remove this we just remove this via forget method okay so session forget this will be forget okay and uh, after forget we will return to the logout just simple as that okay and where we are in the layout oh we actually we are in the font also so let's say logout okay so we have some logout so this is saying that sign out alt so let's say sign out alt okay so let's refresh the page so we have something like this okay 
so when we click on this it should be go to the login page so when we click on this it is saying that admin logout not found because we didn't define in the route page okay so let's define this because we are accessing via browser so that i am defining the get method and here it will be a logout so let's click on the same link and it is saying that variable admin data is not exist okay so let's go to the admin controller and we need to actually we just need to remove this value because we just need need the key this will delete the data we just need the key okay i have copy pasted or everything okay no issues so now we have redirected on the admin now let's check the admin section click so it is redirected on the admin login okay so we have successfully created the custom login logout functionality for the admin okay if you have any doubt any query then please add in the comment section and i hope you have enjoyed this video okay so thanks for watching this video please like share subscribe this channel okay so if you are new to this uh, channel then please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will receive regular updates okay and uh, i will do i will in future i will do very very interesting projects so please stay in touch with coda design lab thank you so much for watching this video thank you